Hello friends, my name is Noelle. I am an independent color street stylist and today we are going to be doing a nail mail haul, an Amazon mini haul, and a Dollar Tree mini haul. Um, my nails <laughs> are Black Widow, Here for the Booze, Tinseltown, um, Swiss and Tell, and No Holding Black. Um, I did these on Friday, so I'll probably change them tomorrow. They don't have a Peely base on. They have that um, Nail Teaks formula on, so I was trying to leave them on for a little bit. Um, so tomorrow's Wednesday, so I don't know what I want to do for nails yet. So if you have any idea, comment below some ideas so that I can do my nails. I'm thinking more fall vibes, more fall themed, but... I'm open to anything. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into the first part of the nail mail haul. Just a little order from Color Street. So the first shade we got was Rosé Ombre. And this is just a beautiful purple to light lilac ombre. I would say that's a nice amethyst. But this matches um, Rule of Plum. I really need to get that shade so I can wear them together. But that is just beautiful. Next, we have Favorite Flannel, which is a clear overlay. So where it's white, you're going to see color come through. So this is very pretty. Next, we have Pumpkin Queen. Um... This is literally the same colors to me as Do Your Fang from last year. I'm loving these just solid red strips. Um, I'm not sure about these, but these could make a fun, like, angled French tip, maybe. I don't know. It could also look good with maybe no holding black coming off of it. I don't know. So I just got one to try it to see if I like it. Um, we'll see. Next, we have Coffin Break. I think this was, like, one of the most misinterpreted sets this year. And that's because, at least when I last checked on the website, this was not listed as a duochrome. But you can see it's silver here and gold here. And it's just so pretty. And I know most of you, you, most of you have seen these. But I wanted to show you my nail mail. So that is just really pretty. Next we have Black Widow. Which is simply Midnight in Manhattan with a silver hollow glitter dip effect on it. Which I'm not hating. I love it. <laughs> it's beautiful. So I grabbed one of those. Next, we have Vintage Velvet, which this is a beautiful plum shade. Um, this is a jelly, so this is semi-sheer. Um, it is absolutely stunning. I love it. I am happy they replaced Aberdeen Aberdeen with it. Let's hope they keep these jellies coming. Um, I'm one of the few that still love them coming out. So, that is that. It's a lot lighter than it looks on camera. Don't mind my dry patch of skin right there. Um, but <laughs> it is beautiful. Next, I think this also <clears throat> was one of the most um, forgotten sets in the launch. And this is Runaway Lame. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And this is actually really, really beautiful. I am wholeheartedly obsessed with the dark green and the navy blue and this, like, bronzy color, bronzy brown. It is just so pretty. I want a dark color just like that, and I want that green, and I want that navy all in one strip. But, oh my gosh, if you did not snag this up, you need to on the buy one, get one sale Color Street launch today through October 31st. You need this. Next, in my nail mail haul, my friend had her 
21st birthday sale, so I snagged up some sets. So let me show you them. First of all, she listed some uh, sub box shades, and this is one of my favorite shades. This is Raspberry Tart, and this is, I believe, an overlay. Um, if not, this pink part is super sheer. So you can wear this with colors layered underneath and it gives an ombre effect. So I did it with orange and it looked like Cabana Girl or Cabana Chick or whatever that shade was. Um, but this is just really pretty and I could not pass it up. The next shade I got was one in four because I opened my only one. And I believe someone on my channel said this was their favorite. So I had to snag another one up. This is just like the perfect Halloween purple, in my opinion. <clears throat> Next, this one's pretty special to me. When I first reintroduced myself to Color Street, my mom picked this shade out. So this is Snake My Day. If anyone has Hissin Makeup, the black snake skin with silver, let me know because I am desperately trying to find it. It's my favorite and I can't find it anywhere. But anyways, I love this shade. It's just so pretty. <clears throat> Next, we have Trend Spotted. Um, this is just a beautiful strip, and I love Havana Honey. I'm just, this is a good set all around. Next, this one was also a new one for me. I've never had this one before. This one is Wine Down. Um, I thought this is going to be beautiful for like November into December. Just the deep red and the sparkles. So good, you guys. <clears throat> Next, we have Blue in Peru. So I got this a beautiful blue shade from 2020, I believe. I'm obsessed. I love it. Next, we're getting into the unicorns. Um, at least they're unicorns to me or hard to find. And I've been looking for them and Taylor listed them, so I got them. So this is Napa Grappa. I'm so excited. This is my favorite purple. This is one of the first four sets I ever bought. And I think put on, honestly. I think this was my first set. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is just a beautiful purple that they need to remake. Bring back whatever they find necessary. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Next, we have Electric City. This is a bright neon yellow that they also desperately need to bring back. I love this shade. Next, we have Catitude Problem. You guys, shut up. I am obsessed with this. I think I have one in my collection, and I have to have two to open anything. So guess what I'm gonna I'm gonna wear? But this gold matches the sub box gold really well from this month. <clears throat> and then. Last but certainly not least in my nail mail portion of the video, I have a going bandanas. You guys, shut the freak up. How good is this? Why don't we have sets like this again? Like, look how intricate. Why? Why don't we have this again? So, that is the nail mail portion. Next is going to be the Dollar Tree portion. And you guys, I have been so in to cross... No, not crossword. Dang it. I always say that. Word search puzzles. This is the one I'm working in now. I think I'm on 11. But I went to Dollar Tree yesterday after work because I was just annoyed with life. And I bought, I bought a ton. So I got the chicken soup. I got these random word searches. I got the first four volumes. 
I got some more. These ones look kind of interesting. They're like a whole inspirational quote that you have to find the words. <clears throat> so I got all of these. And I have more coming from the actual printing presses. Because um, I was able to buy them in bulk for a really good price. Um, so these are what I got from the Dollar Tree. What do you guys like? Do you guys like word finds? Do you like Sudoku? Do you like crosswords? Are you into this kind of stuff? Would you guys ever like to watch me do word searches on like a YouTube video? I googled that. That's actually a thing people do and it's got me hooked. So if you would like to see that, let me know. Um, it'll be just like a nail video, just talking through it while searching for words. And then I've been trying diamond painting again, you guys. So I I know I love diamond painting. For some reason, I lost touch with it, but I ordered like 10 of them, and they're still coming. But right now I'm working on this really beautiful like sea wave thing. I think I have M, H, C, and V done. Or, well, no, I'm working on V. G, I'm not going to start until last. Because that's all down here. That's all throughout here. Here. And all up here. Which I think that's black. Um, so, I got this one that I'm working on actively. And then I have flamingos. I'm so excited for this one. I have this cardinal ever since my mom passed away i see cardinals all the time so i thought this would be pretty for a winter diamond painting to get framed next i have this beautiful little red truck i can't wait to do um and then i have who i have a bunch coming i'll i'll do another video when they come but if you'd like to see me do diamond paintings and just chat with me and word searches and nails, let me know. Um, if you don't want word searches or diamond paintings, just be like, not my thing. Just trying to see what I can do. <clears throat> because I am obviously not in college anymore. And so I am trying to do things that make me happy and relieve my stress. So you guys, that is my three hauls that I've gotten. Nails, word searches, and diamond paintings. I will do a follow-up video with the word searches that I ordered online, as well as diamond paintings that are still coming. Um, and let me know what you guys think I should do for my nails tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Today is Tuesday, the 24th. So I plan to do my nails tomorrow. So comment below what fall Manny I should do. And again, let me know if you want to watch me do word um, finds and or diamond paintings and nails. Different kinds of videos. And we'll just chat and everything. Um, and <laughs> go ahead and like, comment, subscribe whatever you want um and let me know if you guys like diamond painting word finds obviously you like nails but let me know what kind of stuff you guys are into for extracurricular activities other than nails have a wonderful evening and day and i'll see you in the next one